thank you so much, Joe. Thanks again, and and thanks to everybody here. Look, this is such a successful program that's operating within the house. But the folks that have been leading this this event for you today, uh, trust me, uh, wouldn't have happened without their leadership, without their effort, and without their advocacy coming to to folks like me and our team to make sure we know how important this is to really train the next generation on how to how to move forward in STEM fields, how to be engaged civically, and also uh, you know how to actually figure out whether or not you want to participate in a competition. When we first started, we first started advocating for the Congressional App Challenge in my congressional district, I was just amazed at some of the products that came out of our high schools throughout central and southwestern Illinois. And as a matter of fact, I'm always, in, I'm always inspired by mission statements. That's one thing that I've learned to appreciate as a member of Congress. And I'm really drawn and inspired by the mission statement that the Congressional App Challenge uses, and it's to inspire, include, and innovate efforts around STEM, coding, and computer science education. There's not better fields of study and in more of need in this country to fill than what this Congressional App Challenge hopefully gets kids interested in into the future that can have a tremendous impact on our future. I always enjoy going to schools pre-COVID and, and really congratulating, and in many cases, surprising the individuals who were named winners. And this year, uh, this year, our winner in the 13th District of Illinois is Trevin Van Hook from Normal, Illinois. And he created an app called The Fun Zone. I, I certainly hope I can get a chance to go see Trevin and uh, the team that always participates at Normal West Community High School in Normal, Illinois. In 2020, we had 308 offices compete in the app challenge with over 6,500 students that signed up to compete. This is the largest student app development of any kind in the world. And it's designed to inspire each and every one of you to pursue careers in STEM and computer science. Proud to be a part of it. But I'm also proud to say that in my district, uh, we have many different opportunities for those of you who are engaged in this process to come study further. Come to the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign and and, and work with their iSTEM initiative. Uh, go find a spot at the National Center for Supercomputing Applications at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Look at the opportunities with our University of Illinois Research Park. Also, where my kids are studying in college right now, the Illinois State University, the center, their Center for Mathematics, Science, and Technology is second to none. In Bloomington Normal, the same area that Trevin is from, uh, they have a STEM initiative with STEM Education Partnership within the Bloomington Normal Economic Development Council, McLean County Schools, and local businesses. But if you want to stay close to the St. Louis area, come across a river and visit our Southern Illinois University at Edwardsville uh, STEM Center. But I do want to end by saying this. Again, thank you to Joe. Thank you to Tim and the entire team. But you learn a great deal when you go meet the students who may not have won the challenge. But I always go visit those who play second and those who play third. And just last year, before the pandemic hit, I visited my own high school, Taylorville High School in Taylorville, Illinois. And I got a chance to meet a young man by the name of Ben Thompson. Ben, he, uh, he put together an app that placed second in our app challenge in 2020. And what I didn't know at the time before I met Ben is that I went to school with his parents. And I also... I also didn't know he was joining the military to be able to afford to pursue a STEM education and a computer science education in the future. And while I was talking to Ben, a, a young student I just met, I informed him of the opportunities at our military academies. He went out after that and decided to apply to go to the Air Force Academy. And you know what? Just a few weeks ago, I was proud to, to not only offer him a nomination, from our office to the Air Force Academy, I was proud to give him a call to let him know that the Air Force Academy wanted him to be a student, wanted him to be a cadet. He was overjoyed, his family was overjoyed, as was I. But those are the types of relationships that we are, as members of Congress, are able to build upon and learn from too. So we're learning just as much from each and every one of you. So thanks for giving us the opportunity to work with you. Good luck in your future. Good luck to the Congressional App Challenge, 
good luck to the team. Tim, thanks for your kind words. And Joe, I'm going to turn it right back to you, my friend. 